What's up guys, Leeson here. I'm going to be honest with you, I don't have a topic to commentate on, to commentate about, so I'm just going to ramble on randomly, hopefully come up with a few things. Um, let's talk about Moral Fear 3. A few people sighing, but um, yeah, it looks to be a, sort of a good game, the Spec Ops, anyway. I'm looking forward to the LA XP, the experience, because um, hopefully we'll show some gameplay. I mean, Black Ops um, pulled out a reveal sort of around that time last year, so um, hopefully Morphe 3 pull off some good gameplay. And I'm glad that it's going to be a bit like Morphe 2, because um, I, I was good at Morphe 2. I was better than on, I'm better on Morphe 2 than Black Ops, I mean, I, I suck at this game. These are just a glimpse of my good games, you know, I hardly get a good game anymore. So when I do get a good game, I am thankful, and I, I'm just like, whew, wow, got a Black Ops gameplay. One in a million, but um, yeah, so it is a bit like Mafia 2. Shotguns actually do work, and things aren't underpowered like uh, on this game. And hopefully it'll be good. But they, I think they need to change a few things. Obviously, the grenades in Morphe 2 were overpowered. You like fired them from one side of the map, it blew, like, got a multi kill every single time. And people just abused it. Especially with the one man army perk and the danger close. That was a big, big um, thing in Morphe 2. Lots of people used that. <laughs> My, I didn't hardly use it. Only time I did use it, I think it was early on in the game. Anyway, and I was just trying to get the challenge. That was it. I was that's the only time I used Danger Close. But um, yeah. So hopefully, Morphe Three could be used the Morphe Two as like a guideline <laughs> and um, improve improve it slightly, like Black Ops did. Um, Black Ops did a good job in making things fresh and new to the player. Because they, they did use like the Morphe 2 engine, I think. I think I'm right in saying that. But they improved a lot of things from Morphe 2. But still, I thought Morphe 2 was a much uh, fun game. F much for fun game. More fun game. Sorry, get my words out. Uh, but it was, a, it was a much fun game. And Black Ops was a bit strict, I thought. So, you know... I'm really struggling to find things to commentate to, so, uh, yeah. I had a nice, uh, lunch. Hope you're having a nice time watching this video. If you are, if you're not, then, uh, I'm sorry. I really am. But, <laughs> yeah, I really don't know what to talk about. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be, um, doing a live commentary, Battlefield 3 walkthrough, playthrough on, um, the single player. And uh, I won't be doing it for Morphe 3, I, I think a lot of people do the campaign for that game, so uh, yeah, and I don't really want to spend my time on the uh, campaign, recording myself on the campaign for Morphe 3, sorry, I think I said 2 last time, but Morphe 3, I'll be um, I'll be just doing live commentaries online gameplay, so I'll, I'll just jump in straight into the gameplay online, I know a few people just go into the campaign and do walkthroughs for that. I'm just going to do live commentary straight away online, so as soon as I get the game, multiplayer, that's it, I'll do the campaign on my own <laughs> um, some other time. But yeah, I'll be doing live commentaries on that, and I'll be doing um, some, maybe some montages. Believe it or not, I can do some good clips. Believe it or not, I do get some clips. Hopefully, I'm, I'm planning on doing a, uh, yeah, a few montages for Battlefield and for Warfare 3. And hopefully, uh, yeah, Morphe, D Morphe 3 is supposed to have a theater mode, so it might be a little bit easier for me to edit my clips, even though I do have some softwares on my computer where I can edit it, even though it's not the best editing, but, um, you know, it will do. It's a montage. It's the gameplay for me that bites the, the dog's nuts for me. Wow, great, great description. No, great. What is it? Metaphor? No. I, I don't even know. I'm comparing something to another something. That's a metaphor, I believe. And uh, I was using uh, low kill streaks in this game. I just wanted to try and make a gameplay where to show that to get a lot of kills and low deaths, 
you didn't necessarily have to have the high kill streaks. I know it helps a lot, but um, I'm just saying you, you can get a gameplay in this or gameplay on this just from using small kill streaks. And um, yeah, I just got told by my friend on the. Do you know if you've all watched the uh, more for free Spec Ops trailer? At the end, there's that multiplayer clip, and a lot of people were discussing what that thing was that blew up that guy. My friend had a theory, had a theory, or saw someone, or watched someone um, explain that it was a kill streak. That thing that went up in like a mine, or bouncing Betty. A lot of people said apparently it's a kill streak. Apparently, you get three of them, plant them around the map. That's not my idea. I'm um, someone else's idea, not mine. He said he said he said that he heard someone else say it, so it's not me. That's not my opinion, view. <laughs> so I bet I don't know why I told you. But, uh, I just thought it was a nice little bit of information to share with you. You know, I've got nothing else to say in this commentary. But um, yeah, I think this game is sort of coming to a close, even though like uh, two minutes left. I normally say that on every single commentary too. I start saying, "Oh, it's, it's gameplay commentary to an end," and it's like, "No, it's not." I still got a quarter way through, but um, in my book, you know, it is sort of the end of the game. And I know I've got R6Ds on, but I just wanted to give myself a challenge again, you know, because I mean, I've had UAV on for like quite a while now, and I wanted to change my game, and I did. So I was using R6D um, napalm and mortars. And they are not really useful. They're only useful on game types like um, Domination and Demolition, I believe. They're the game types where it's more useful. Not really on Team Deathmatch, but I thought I'd go with it. And um, yeah, I like the new game mode they put in Black Ops. Did they put in a game mode called Express, where it t pretty much took out Last Stand, or sorry, Second Chance and Ghost, which is great, really, because um, those perks annoy me. And I just want to quickly discuss about raging. I rage quite a bit. If other people rage, um, tell me how you rage. Because I just rage by effing and blighting at the screen of my um, TV. But tell me how you rage. Do you like hit yourself? Do you? <laughs> Sometimes some people do that, but I just try and hold it in. Even though I do feel like doing that sometimes. But it's just a game at the end of the day. So thanks guys for watching. I am going now. Good night. Thanks for playing this video. I'm entering the uh, uh, kill zone because I'm leaving the green zone. See so, ya. Yeah, I always do my outros really long because there's no gameplay, so it's just a blank screen talking. So I'm gonna stop now, but I just want to explain that to you. See ya.